Hey guys, Braden Roten here today on this warm Monday. It will be 67 degrees with a low of 44. For lunch, the hot option will be Wild Mike's cheese or pepperoni pizza. Or you can get eight wheat grain chicken nuggets with a wheat grain roll. The cold option will be an uncrustable PB&J with Cheez-Its and a cheese stick. Or you can get a ham and cheese on a wheat grain bun with uh, reduced fat Doritos with a side of mashed potatoes. Today's national holidays is National Velociraptor Awareness Day, National Garlic Day, and my sister's 12th birthday, Kylan Roten. Now on to Nora's book. Hey guys, what's up? It's Stella Ellie here, and welcome back to my show. It's been a bit since I've seen you guys, but that's not okay, actually. It's kind of depressing, but uh, I'm a bit rusty, so, you know, that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, so let's go ask some people some questions. Oh, crap. I've got to go. I'm sorry, what? I have to go. You can't go. You haven't uploaded in forever. I know, okay? I just wish someone could fill in for me. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're, no. 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 Hey guys, what's up? I'm, well, I'm not Tal Ellie, but I am here to bring you some Man on the Street interviews from West Valley. Would you rather be rich and lonely or poor and have lots of friends? Poor and lonely. All right, wait. Uh, Coke or Pepsi? Definitely. Well, my top is Diet Coke. My second is Cherry Pepsi. Don't judge me. Hey, Katie, I need you to do something for me. Jacob, I need you to do something for me. If Taylor's video gets out, it'll ruin my reputation. Ellie is most likely trying to sabotage me right now. So, I'm gonna need you to sabotage him. Can you do that for me? Make sure Katie doesn't get that media. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sleeping or eating? Sleeping. Eating. Sleeping. <laughs> Would you rather be bald or missing a thumb? Bald. 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 If you were stranded on an island, what would be the one item you'd want? A knife. What you doing? Hey, Jacob. I was just, you know, making sure we had all the files on the phone? Uh-huh. I believe you. Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm serious. Here, let me see this. Go for Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. If you were stranded on an island, what would be one item you want? Everything. Uh, Coke or Pepsi? Sprite. <laughs> Sleeping or eating? Eating. It, what's up? I'm Tata Ellie. Oh, I'm <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah, so we're gonna um, do some um, um, interviews. All right, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because then I can start. Hi, welcome back to Nora's Bookshelf, where I give candid reviews on your favorite books. This week's book is the Junie B. Jones series by Barbara Parks. Judy B. Jones is a rambunctious and wild kindergartner who gets herself into all kinds of trouble from staying after school because she doesn't want to go on a school bus to hiding a chicken in her overalls. Judy B. gets in a lot of trouble. This book series really shaped my childhood and if not for it, I wouldn't be reading here today. It is just very influential for me and it's also really good for someone who wants to read at a young age and feel like that they, they are reading big books at, you know, the age of seven, it's just great. Um, it's such a monumental book for me. In fact, I memorized the entire first uh, paragraph. Hi, my name's Judy B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, but I don't like Beatrice. I just like B and that's all. See, talent, okay. <laughs> Well, I'm giving this book series five out of five stars. Um, if there was a higher ranking, I would definitely give it to that. Well, that's all for my show. If you have any books that you would like me to read and review, just stop me in the hallway or anywhere and ask. I'll see you next week on... The mission of the West Valley Middle School community is to inspire students to be resourceful, respectful, and responsible citizens by creating a challenging and safe learning environment. Have a great day, West Valley.